Hey yo, what is going on guys? Welcome back to another video. In today's video, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be working on our Boeing 747. So, with that said, let's go ahead and get right into the video. So guys, in the previous episode, we started on the top panel. And this episode, what we're going to do is we're going to focus on getting the top panel done. So we have a few instrument panels that we really got to get in there. Um, I think the seat will be far enough back for all this, so we are possibly going to do with, uh, we're possibly going to have one long and skinny panel, or just one, uh, really wide panel, though, that'll probably work, uh, we might just do long and skinny like this, or something like that, or it's gonna be even, I'm not certain though. Um, let's focus on getting the systems in first, so, um, we have several systems that we actually have to add during this video so one of them is actually hold on let me go ahead and delete these extra instrument panels really quick let me turn down my audio on my game so it's not too loud for you guys um okay so the first system first four systems that we're gonna do is engine one engine two apu engine three engine four fire suppression so let's go ahead and name these one through four um, the first one will be a dial. I'm not, uh, like I said in the other video, I'm not going for realism. I'm just going for fun. I'm building this for fun. So no, no criticism saying this isn't realistic because it's it's a video game. It's, it's meant to be fun. So yeah, we're just going to have fun building this. So this will be engine one fuel, or not fuel, engine one uh, fire suppression tank level okay then we're going to copy in this and paste it here engine one well we'll do engine one temperature so engine one temp we'll do 0 to 115 uh this one right here will probably be 0 to uh well probably 0 to 500 actually it might be 700 we'll go with 700 because we're going to use the large uh default tanks um this one will be engine one fire suppression um system active i will activate okay um actually we'll just go with um engine one fire suppression system on okay then we'll do that as a flip switch and then this right here will be a button actually this will probably be a button as well these will both be toggle buttons and this one right here will be engine one fire suppression pumps Okay, um, that is one done. Let's go ahead and give this a little bit of additive paint so that we can paint this to be red. Just the buttons, just like that, to kind of indicate that it's fire. Well, that it's hot, that's fire suppression. Yeah, you guys get the big idea. So we're gonna go ahead and just copy and paste this four times. Actually, it'll have to be five times because we have our APU as well. We might as well have a, a APU fire suppression, so yeah. This one right here will be two, engine two, fire suppression. So let's just name everything here two. Engine, well, engine two, fire suppression. And we're gonna repeat this as engine three, fire suppression. So let's just do engine three, temp, engine three, fire suppression, all that. And there we go. Let's go ahead and do the fourth one, which will be engine four, fire suppression. So let's uh, just go ahead and put four, engine four, fire suppression. Uh, this is four as well, and that'll be four. Okay, so this last one, we're gonna do APU. So let's just drag this and put APU. Actually, it should be caps because it's abbreviated as auxiliary power unit. So that'll be it. Let's go ahead and copy this. So we're, we're just gonna copy it just like that. And we'll just paste it right here, APU temp, APU fire suppression system on and APU fire suppression pumps. Okay, so now we need to do engine one, two, three, four, and potentially uh, APU emergency cutoff, but I don't think we'll do an uh, APU emergency cutoff. So we'll just do four panels right here. So these four panels will be engine one, engine two, cutoff, engine three, engine four, cutoff, and then engine one, engine two, Engine three and four cutoff emergence, well, uh, confirmation. So let's just first of all name these one through four. 
just like that. Now let's do a button. Uh, this will be a toggle button. This one right here will be a toggle button as well. This will be engine one emergency cutoff. Cut off. Confirm. Up confirm. I'm not the fastest typer in the world, but that'll do it. Engine two emergency cutoff. Um, then right here we'll do just emergency one. Oh, uh, engine one emergency cutoff. Um, we'll not do the confirm thing because that's the second row of stuff. So this will be engine two emergency cutoff as well. So now, now that we got that, let's go ahead and copy this and paste it down here. And we'll rename it as engine one, two, three, four. Well, actually, uh, three and four. So this will be three and this will be four. This right here will be three as well. This one right here will be four. And we need a space before that. There we go. Okay, so that's engine one through four, fire suppression and uh, emergency cutoff. Now we need a few more things. So we're going to need a um, a few things on this. So we're just going to put this as one through four, one, two, three, and four, just like that. Okay, so let's have this as a flip switch. This will be emergency uh, beacon activate okay then we'll have this also right here as an indicator just like that that will indicate that it's off or sorry that it's on and it'll be a blinker uh, this one won't be activate it'll be active okay, there we go um, now we need to have a uh, heater so this right here will be heater it's kind of in a random place but oh well um, now this right here will probably be, I don't know, we'll probably just leave this blank. So we'll name this inop as an in inoperable, oh, not in operation. Now we're going to have uh, another panel up here. Okay, this one right here will be one through four. So let's go ahead and do Engine 1, Engine 2, well, not Engines, sorry. Um, channel 1, Channel 2, Channel 3, Channel 4, etc. Um, so we're going to have uh, emergency exit lights right here. Okay, actually, let's have emergency exit. Oh, I forgot to type in exit. Exit lights. And we'll do emergency exit light light lights uh electrics so we can directly cut off the power to that if we need to which i find a reason i don't really find a reason why not to have that um okay then we'll have emergency door exits or not door exits emergency door release just like this oh there we go, there it is. Um, okay, this will be a flip switch. Uh, this will be emergency exit door release confirm. So let me just paste this back. There we go. This will be a button, a toggle button. Okay, and then from there what we could do is we could just simply cut and paste this right here. Then this one right here well, we'll just simply cut and paste over just like that. And we'll add a basic corner just like that. Okay, let's um, actually let's save it really quick. Cockpit example, Boeing 747, YT Renew. Okay, let's spawn it in now. And let's see what it looks like. All right, let's go ahead and go to it. The cockpit's up here, so let's go up here. And let's sit down. Okay, that's a good sized panel. That will work. Okay, so now we need to work on this panel right here. So this panel is gonna be a little bit, well, a lot more simple than this upper panel. This upper panel is gonna have a majority of the buttons. So on this bottom panel, we're gonna need, uh, well, a few things, first of all. So let's actually just, um, let me add a tiny bit of decoration to this really quick. So let me just grab a pipe. Uh, this one right here, 
and I'll just place it down right here and then I'll place this here there we go so let's just go ahead and put the brush just to black so that's just a little you know pipe right there because why not um okay so this bottom panel this is going to have our throttle engine throttle okay this will be maximum value of 15 and a minimum value of well negative one actually we'll do a maximum value of 25 just in case okay so now what we're going to do is we're going to add a basic instrument panel right here um let's go ahead and paint this okay this will be generator one two three and four output so let's go ahead and put these as one two three and four for channels just like this so engine one generator okay actually engine one generator output okay then we'll paste this here as engine two generator output then engine three right here and then finally engine four generator output so let's just put this as 0 to 100 for all four of these. So let's just simply remove all of the zeros and change the ones to 100. Okay, so that'll cover what our generator stats are. Um, okay, so what we need to do now is we need to grab a basic throttle lever and we're just going to place this down. This right here will be flaps and it'll be zero. Actually, what's our flap level? our flap level so it stops at wait hold on this is oh yeah that's a temporary throttle lever so it looks to be maxing out at point two so i think we'll just we could actually just delete that and then have a function block that divides this one a zero to one uh, divided by 2.5 to give us roughly 4 for, um, uh, you know, for flaps. Because flaps will go 0 to 4, or sorry, 0 to 0.4. So we can get a number from, yeah. Okay, you guys get the point. Okay, then right here will be spoilers, or speed brakes. We'll call it spoilers, though. And I just realized we can't put that there, so we'll put, actually, huh. I didn't think about that. Um, you know what? I could just simply move this to the side. So let me just put that right there. Okay, so this right here will be a throttle lever that will be spoilers. Okay, and it will have zero to one. Okay, we're gonna have a few buttons here. This will be a key button. This will be for arm auto spoilers. Okay. So basically, uh, what the auto spoilers will be is as soon as we turn turn on auto spoilers, it'll keep the spoilers down until the front gear or just the aircraft has uh, touched the down on the ground, so that as we are going down the runway really fast, we don't have to worry worry about spoilers not going up, and it'll automatically deploy the spoilers when. We are going down the runway and after we land. Yeah, so that's a basic summary of what that's gonna be. Um, so yeah, let's put this as arm auto spoilers, yes. Okay, now we'll have another key right here. This will be lock cockpit door. So let's simply name this cockpit door. We'll put this as 0 0.1 for hold, uh, hold duration. Um, and then I don't know what else we should do oh yeah actually you know what we should have uh, basic trim right here on the front panel so let's go ahead and put this down right here one through four so zero one two three four etc so we'll just simply name all these zero to four just like that and this will be trim well pitch trim I should name it pitch trim so pitch trim there we go um this will be a gauge zero to negative one. Oh, sorry one to negative one uh pitch trim up okay four will be pitch trim down 
just like that. This will be pitch trim reset. Just in case we need to reset it in a emergency. Like we set it too far or something and we can't get it back up in time. Okay, this will be an arrow bu button and this right here will also be an arrow button. They'll both be push buttons and yeah, I think that should be fine for that. Okay, we're gonna copy this and we're actually just gonna paste this right here. Okay guys, now that we pasted it down, we're gonna actually rename everything and reconfigure this. It probably would have been faster to not do this and just start from scratch. So this right here will actually be yaw trim and it'll be horizontal. So we'll do yaw trim, trim for the yaw. Oh, not yay, uh, yay. Um, this will be yaw trim, zero to negative one. This will be yaw trim reset. Reset, okay. Pitch trim reset. Uh, we'll change this to a sideways arrow button. So this will go left. Yeah, well, actually we need to rename this to yaw trim. Uh, yaw trim, yaw trim. Uh, yaw trim left. Uh, yaw trim right. And this will be an arrow button facing towards the right, as you can guess. And that should be good for the yaw trim, I think. We'll just simply put this corner block right here, just for the panel. Um, as far as I know, this should be good for the cockpit. Let's just add some basic decoration. So let's grab a one by one window and we'll just place it right here. This will kind of look like rudders, I guess. So we'll just put them there. Let's grab some door frames. These ones right here, we'll put these as white at the temporary. And, oh, black spike, okay, it's back. Um, we'll just go ahead, drag back to about right here, that'll work. And then we'll do the same over here. And we'll just drag this, well, let's flip it to the right way, so that's the right way right there. And then that's inverted, there we go, to look like rails, like the seat's gonna scoot forward and backwards. So yeah, now let's simply you know, paint the seat a different color because it's kind of plain being dark gray. Okay, that should be good for color wise. Now, 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 what we're gonna try and do is we're gonna try and see if we could change this right here to kind of be a different, well, kind of be a little bit higher up. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to succeed. Oh, I just need to change the shape of the window. So let me just put it as this right here. And I'll put this as this brick right here. And then I'll put this wedge right here. And this will go here. Actually, you know what? We could actually completely change this whole area. So we could just simply put this here. And then this corner will go right here. Just like that. And there's a few corners that we need to delete here and there. And if we just drag this to here, it'll be a little bit smoother, except there's there's a pivot there. So maybe if I just move this right here and then put that there, maybe it'll be better. I don't know. So I just need to simply drag this to here. Actually, hold on. Uh, there we go. Okay, we got it. All right, so let's go ahead and just put this as, huh, actually, I don't know. Um, so what I'm trying to do here is I'm trying to make like a space for an emergency exit because the window needs to be three blocks tall. Otherwise the player cannot fit out of it, which is disappointing, but it's fine. Um, so we'll just paint this corner black, I guess. Uh, let's go ahead and put this at that. Um, I think if we actually put this kind of like this, uh, then that like that, we could maybe just leave it blended like that. I don't know. Probably not. I don't think, hmm, actually, I don't know. I'm not certain. It might not be too big of an eyesore if we leave it like that. I'm not certain though. So, We'll just actually, you know what, we could, yeah, we could just do this. So yeah, we'll just leave it at that. And then I'll just paint this right here. Okay, so that will be a tracked window. 
that'll retract back two blocks and it will make way for a emergency exit. If there is a emergency, which I'm planning to make a emer emergency exit just for stuff for exactly like that. So yeah, let's actually give this a little bit more space. So let's just simply put this right here. Let's put a one by two wedge right here. Just give the cockpit a little bit more room. And I think I'll leave it at that for this episode. So I'm actually gonna save this after I, well, see how well this fits in a moment after I I'll delete this and replace it really quickly. So if I place this back here, that should be all right. So let me go ahead and save this as cockpit example. And I will spawn it in again, and let's go check it out. Okay, it's spawned in. Let's go check out the interior of the cockpit. So it did actually, it does look a little bit close to the eye for comfort. Well, it does look a little close for comfort, I should say. Maybe if I turn the FOV way up, it still doesn't help, but we might change it later on, but for now it's fine. So yeah, with that all done, I think I'm gonna end the episode here. So thank you guys all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and join my Discord. It'll be a link down below, and while you're at it, you might as well turn on notifications so you're notified every single time I upload. So yeah, guys, um, with that said, I will see you guys in the next one. So yeah, bye for now.